Hello all of you incredible viewers at home and welcome back to another Matt VidPro AI video. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at Promptomania which someone from my Discord server suggested I do a video on. By the way you guys have really been kicking butt on my Discord server lately. We're up to over 3500 members and it really does seem to be turning into a great community for anyone really interested in AI or machine learning to learn about new AI projects or share their generations or creations with AI or just discuss it in general. So I really want to thank everyone for supporting the channel and the Discord and really keeping this community alive and active. It really is a great thing that you guys are doing. And thank you for supporting me as well and my YouTube channel. Anyways, I'm sure a lot of you guys know by now I am in university, so that would be the reason I'm uploading less and less. I really want to get all of your different suggestions and ideas through into videos. However, you know, it does take up a lot of time to go to university, so I'm trying my best to really get as many videos and as many good videos out as possible per week. Anyways, like I said, this one was suggested on my Discord server and it was very interesting. Originally, I wanted to make today's video on the Stable Diffusion in Painter. I'll link this down below if you guys can get it to work, but I, I can't really get this thing to work. Every time I try to generate with it, it tells me that I've hit my monthly spending limit. So yeah, this is supposed to be some sort of Stable Diffusion in Painting app and it goes through replicate.com and I'm signed in through replicate.com with my billing active and everything, so it shouldn't really be hitting any kind of monthly spending limit, but yeah, I'm having issues with this. If you guys know how to fix this, please let me know because I want to make a full little video about this, but yeah, this one does look like it's interesting, but so does this, and this is what we're doing today. Promptomania, AI art community with an online prompt builder. Do you want to become a mid-journey or stable diffusion master today? Yes, I actually do, because I'm actually not that great at making prompts for image AIs. I'm not going to lie, it's not really my strong suit. The human-friendly prompt builder will help you. You can also try it with other diffusion models, such as Dolly 2, Disco Diffusion, Wumbo Dream, or any diffusion model out there, of which I have covered quite a few on this channel. In fact, we made that video on over 20 different... AI image generators. I, I think I'll link that video down below, but that was like a 40 minute video of just every AI you could think of. So yeah, apparently this will work well pretty much with any AI text to image. And they actually have some change logs for the different updates they do in here, but this is supposed to be like a human friendly prompt builder. And it looks like it's very interesting. So let's try the prompt builder out here. It asks you which diffusion model will you use? And we've got three options here. Mid journey, Dream Studio, Stable Diffusion, or Generic, and I think this would be for Dolly 2 or any other alternative, you know, diffusion models out there on the interwebs that you guys might want to mess with. Now, I am not going to lie to you, a lot of you guys really have been upset that I haven't really been generating in mid-journey lately, so today we are going to be doing mid-journey generations. Maybe we'll try a Dolly 2 for Generic, but... Let's do a mid-journey. We're going to be using mid-journey today. And this looks like a very, very in-depth prompt builder. The prompt will appear as it gets built up here in the top, it seems. And this seems like a nice little copy button to immediately copy it. I'm going to zoom in for you guys here. I don't want to add a start image here. Let's see. Add your first subject, such as a landscape, planet, flower, whatever it might be. I think you guys know exactly what I'm going to pick. That's right. I'm picking a pineapple. I know. The, the lemon currently is on a vacation. He told me, you know, it's it's been a lot of work lately on this channel, being the, the mascot and everything. So he's taken a hike for the day and we've got pineapple filling in for us today. I know you guys don't like the pineapple as much as the lemon character, but he's going to be, he's going to do just fine for this video. Add a weight or a heartbreak so I can make this pineapple worth more if I want. So the pineapple, we'll just leave it alone for now. I don't want to get messing with weights. You're amazing. Keep adding prompt parts. Okay, so he's definitely wearing sunglasses. Let's see if this is how we're supposed to be using this. I know, I'm so bad at typing. And he's going to be on the beach. He's going to be reading a book today because he likes to read books. Reading a fascinating book. Uh, 3D Render and Cinema 4D. Okay, so we've added some parts of this prompt and we'll see if it can... Mash this together. Imagine prompt pineapple wearing sunglasses on the beach reading a fascinating book 3D render cinema 4D. Okay. 
Base image for details and styles. Sphere, beautiful symmetrical face or landscape. I guess we'll pick sphere for this. Test and test P parameter will change examples. I definitely want to do a dash dash test for this because that is the new stable diffusion based mid journey model. That's very good. We want some different details here. So art medium is definitely going to be like a 3D render. Wow, look at all of these amazing examples here that we have with this app. This is very cool. I don't think this is really what we want, though, for this. The lighting, we can say it's got global green screen space, global illumination. Definitely want some half rear lighting. Sure, <laughs> look at all of these amazing different things we can add in here. Camera, film types, lenses, and perspectives. Definitely you've got the bokeh and the cinematic. Yeah, we'll just add thickness to this prompt. Post-processing. Shaders. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. We want RTX in there, SSAO, shaders, SFX. This is this is going to be quite the prompt here. And image size helper. We're going to want a 10 by 16. And oh, with mid-journey, we definitely want some photorealism there. And all right, with all these options selected here, we definitely are gonna have one crazy prompt. So let's copy it down at the bottom here and give it a test out in mid journey. Oh, wow, we have actually a quick little update mid video for Dolly 2. So this is a little piece of news. Apparently now Dolly is going to support actual photorealistic face uploads. So now you'll be able to upload pictures of your face, change out the different hats, different cloth options and stuff like that, or you know, edit out your friends out of backgrounds of photos and stuff like that. Apparently, Dolly is now ready to support this. I got this off of my Discord, by the way. So thank you to Space Button for sending this little piece of news in today from my Discord server. All right, so here we are in my Discord server to generate because we do have the Midjourney bot in this Discord server. I'm going to do slash imagine. I will paste this prompt now in here that we got from the website generating. And we'll zoom this in so it's a little easier for you guys to see. But the prompt it created for us was pineapple, bokeh, cinematic, half rear lighting, screen, screen space, global illumination, RTX, SSAO, shaders, F SFX, wearing sunglasses, on the beach, reading a fascinating book, 3D render, Cinema 40. Yeah, test P. That's, a, that's quite a crazy little prompt. So let's see if it does anything nice with this. Okay, so our mid-journey generation has completed here, and as we can see, looking at it in all of its amazing detail, it really definitely did work out pretty well. You can sort of see the pineapple base here sticking up, some nice sunglasses, all of the different effects that we added from the prompt builder actually really do seem to have improved our final result here, I think. It definitely helped out, and we can see a few little pineapples sticking up in here and he's definitely you know reading a book on the beach so yeah i think the prompt builder definitely did add some nice little effects here and i think this is a good program or a good website that you guys can use for completely free to help you build prompts for all sorts of different kinds of diffusion models i really am actually interested to see what we get out of dolly 2 with the same prompt though even though this one specifically was for mid journey oh wow okay this prompt really is going crazy in dolly 2 here we've got some Less than desirable incoherent results here like this one like we can see the outline of the pineapple and the sunglasses and such But it's very like blotchy. This one's pretty decent though We definitely see the book and all the different effects and everything pineapple wearing sunglasses. This one's really good Definitely the pineapple with the sunglasses and the the insane lighting and all of that with the book This is probably the best one out of the bunch and then this one as well as not too bad So actually the prompt did work out pretty decently in Dolly 2. Let's do some sort of a really oddly specific character this time. All right, so up here I did frog photographer anthropomorphic character concept with lots of small details, and I'll add some weights on all of these, so these are going to be higher weighted. And we'll start off with the sphere like we did last time. I think that was good. Now let's add some more details to this. Art medium, we'll probably want to do Depth of field here, we'll add F2.8. We'll do tonal colors, which will be interesting. We'll also add complementary colors in there. We'll do three dimensional in here. We'll do natural lighting, add post-processing in there, ray tracing reflections. And I don't know, this Tony guy looks like a good artist, so we'll add him and this Victo guy. Mid-journey parameters, we'll do test model. 
And we'll just do four by three aspect ratio and then we'll copy this prompt and give it a test. So here is mid journey's result for that prompt here. And I think mid journey just kind of didn't hit well with this one in particular. You know, we didn't really get the concept. That, I mean, it's a nice image of a frog and everything, but he's not a photographer. I actually ran it through Dolly though. And we most definitely did get some really nice character concept results. This is definitely like a frog character. You know, he's holding a nice camera and he's a photographer for sure. So yeah, this is really interesting. This one's definitely my favorite where he's just sort of squatting here, holding the camera. That's a very, very nice generation here. But yeah, I think the prompt builder didn't really fail there. I think that's just Dolly or rather mid journey. Sorry, having some trouble with the prompt there. Overall, though, Dolly definitely was able to do quite a bit with that prompt. So yeah, I think this is a useful tool. It really, I think, can actually help people who are new to this AI image generation stuff really begin to create awesome stuff with their different text to image AIs that they might have access to. And uh, yeah, it's a great resource. I'll link it down below completely free to use. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Got some exciting stuff coming up. So yeah, stay tuned, everyone. And goodbye.